to load or update software on your third generation Maso CNC controller, you first need to connect your power supply, monitor, keyboard and mouse to Maso. You must also prepare a USB flash drive with the software on it. To do this on my PC, I'm going to right click on my flash drive and come down to format. I must select FAT32 and I'm going to select 16 kilobyte allocation unit size. For tidiness, I'm going to rename it to Maso. I'm going to select quick format and go start. This brings up a warning saying that formatting will erase all data on this disk. And I click OK. And once the formatting is complete, a message will be brought up. I click OK and go close. We can now go into our USB flash drive and create a new folder. The new folder must be called Maso. And this is where we put the files we wish to install. If you do not put them in this folder, Maso will not be able to read them. Do not put your software in the USB flash drive root directory or your update will fail. There are advantages to having your update files in the Maso folder. It now allows you to keep multiple files on your flash drive for easy swapping between softwares. It allows OEMs or people with multiple machines to load all the various softwares onto one flash drive and go between machines updating them. Maso will only show the software related to its serial number. Let's take a quick look at the files on my flash drive. You can see that each file starts with G3 followed by a four digit serial number. This is the serial number on your Maso and must not be changed or the update will fail. Following the serial number is a description of the software which you may change if you wish. On my flash drive you can see that the first three files are for Maso with serial number of 5000. The first is a password reset file. The second is version 3.40 with Wi-Fi and touchscreen enabled. And the third is version 3.42.1 again with Wi-Fi and touchscreen enabled. The next four are for Maso units with serial numbers 5001 through to 5004. If you plug this USB flash drive into Maso 5003, it will only show this file for updating. The last three files are for Maso with serial number 5005. All of the same software version, but one is for lathe, one for mill, and the other for plasma. So depending on which machine we connect it to, we can select and load the software that we want. To install, upgrade, or change software, repeatedly press the F1 key in the first four seconds after turning Maso on until you see the software load screen. If you see the message USB flash drive not connected, or no Maso software files on USB flash drive, please check that your flash drive is correctly formatted as FAT32 and your files are in a folder called Maso. You can scan the QR code at the top of the screen with your phone or tablet for additional help. If everything is correct, Maso will show the files available and you can select the software that you want. Use the up and down arrows to select the one you wish to load and press the enter key to begin. Maso will load the file and when it is complete press the escape key to run the new software.